Hello and welcome to my two buddy honest review where I'm going to be giving you a quick demo talking about some pros and cons and at the end I'll discuss is TubeBuddy worth it using in order to help you get more views for your YouTube channel. If you'd like to test out TubeBuddy I will leave my link down below. Keep in mind that they do come with a free option where you can test a certain amount of their features just to make sure that you like them and then of course go from there. First things first, I want to talk about the TubeBuddy Keyword Explorer where you can use it to get some nice keyword research in. So for example, I started typing in digital marketing and then of course I went with some niches and the specific year. The cool thing about this is that if you look on the right side, we have our search explorer. It'll give you some idea of the search volume, the competition, and give you an overall score. As I always talk about when it comes to scores and ranking, not just with TubeBuddy, but any type of software, take it with a grain of salt. It's a ballpark average. Sometimes excellent can mean tough, sometimes excellent, can actually mean excellent. So it's going to take a little bit of guessing and then uh, what I like to call SEO instinct. It says this keyword isn't too competitive and has enough search volume to make it worth targeting. Cool thing about this, you can also look up the keyword stats. So if you see this specific keyword right here, You'll notice that the specific exact keyword and title is 0 out of 17. None of these videos have any description and none with the tags. So this is going to be a good thing because you realize that a lot of people aren't really optimizing for this very specific keyword, which makes it a little bit easier to rank for. Aside from that, if I scroll down a little bit, you can see some common video tags. These are ones that you can also give ideas and also utilize when it comes to creating your video. So you can use those not only as tags, but in your description to pick up some other keywords too. Aside from that, we have our TubeBuddy SEO Studio. I've done a few tutorials on this. It's a pretty cool aspect, especially if you're not too familiar with what you need when it comes to ranking. When we have our main button right here, what we want to do is go down and click on the SEO Studio button. We have our specific keyword there. I'm going to click on Start. And from there, this is going to be very helpful if you're not familiar with what it takes to help get your video ranked. Pretty much if you fill in everything on the right, you're going to be in a very good spot. So in terms of how you improve your score, we already have our target keyword in the title. We have 80% of the target keyword in title. We have the target keyword in the first 60 characters of the title, which means it's front loaded. Uh, we have to put it naturally in the title also, so we can add a little bit more. Uh, we have our keyword in the first 200 characters of the description, and we need some more partial matches, which is going to be stuff similar to like digital marketing and niches and various other ways of saying it. So I will add a little bit more just to show you how easy it is to quickly add on to this. Some of the best niches to pick, something like that include your target keyword naturally in the title. So not only do we have a keyword, but we have another great way of you know enticing someone to watch this because we're gonna show you some of the best niches to pick. That's just the first thing that came off the top of my head. Now we can include partial matches of your target keyword in the description. So we have this here, and what I'm gonna do is make it sound a little bit more natural. So give me a second, I'm gonna write a couple of sentences, two or three, and then I'll show you how we can uh, pretty much make this go green. All right, so thanks for checking out my video called Keyword. In this video, I'm going to be discussing some of the best niches that you might want to get started with. So if you'll notice, uh, it went from wherever it was to 95%. You know, something like that. Of course, you can always read a little bit more. And when you do, I'd probably sprinkle in any other keywords that might be related to niches or digital marketing. But this is going to be like the basics of ranking when it comes to it. And it's very simple to do, which is a good thing. So if you're not familiar with YouTube and how this works, this is really going to help you. Okay. Another one's going to be tags. We have our specific uh, tag right there. What it can do is load more for relevance. Uh, let's see, best digital marketing niches. We could use that as well. And we can even search for something like, you know, or just do digital marketing niches without the 2023. And of course, we can always add more. It's not going to be a huge deal that you add a little bit more. I mean, 99% is going to be good. YouTube has even talked about how tags have gone down in terms of how important they are, but I still like doing them just because it's very quick to do. As you can see here with the SEO studio, it's going to be a very easy process in terms of when you go to create your video, you know what to write in your title description just by going over this. And if you're pretty much around 99%, you're going to be good to go. So that's the TubeBuddy SEO studio. Something I also like about TubeBuddy is their best time to publish. This is going to be a great feature because it's going to be a very quick win showing you when you should publish your videos. All right. So as you can see, when your viewers are on YouTube, if you look through, obviously the darker, the purple, the better. So as we can see, somewhere around 9 a.m. to about 2 p.m. a little bit less. So this is going to be right around some of the best times that I should be posting. And it even makes recommendations right here. So literally Sunday all the way through Saturday, 
10 a.m. is going to be the best spot for me. What was funny about this, when I first looked at this, I had a good idea that around 9 a.m. you know, to 12 or 1 or so is going to be good. That's normally when I post, but I never realized that I had so many users on Sunday. So pretty much moving forward, what I do is just at least post one video there. Usually I wasn't doing any videos in the weekend, but I said it wouldn't hurt just to post one or schedule it here. That way I know that I'm going to get more views out of it just because that's when the most amount of people or subscribers are watching on YouTube. So stuff like that, you can get very quick wins, especially if you already have a lot of subscribers, that's really going to help you out. Speaking of another way of getting more wins is going to be the A-B test, which I really love. I've talked about this so much. Let's look at that now. So this is an example that I showed previously of one A-B test that I did. What's great about this is that it allows you to split test two thumbnails, and once you get it going, it's pretty much just set and forget. This is an example of one I did for chat GBT and essay writing. This was the original, this was the variation, but what you're pretty much looking for here is the click-through rate. So the original did do better. It's not always going to be that way, but the cool thing about it is that this is going to be a very good way for you to increase your views and clicks overall, because obviously the more someone searches for you, or maybe if you're unsuggested, the more clicks you can get, the more views you're going to get. Obviously it's correlated. So how you do this is very simple. Allow me to show you in the actual A-B test section. All right. So I actually did a specific video just on this and I'll be using that as an example. I don't have another thumbnail created, but I'll tell you what you need to do. After that, I like going with the thumbnail CTR test. This is just going to be for improving your thumbnail. If you go with this, there's other things that you can change. And I don't like doing that because I like changing one variable at a time. If you change your thumbnail, your description, your title and tags all at once, you're not going to know what caused you know the bigger win there. So I like going with this and clicking on select. You can do a set number of days, but I like doing based upon the statistical significance. There's a tongue twister. And pretty much what it does here is it keeps going until it gets a 95% or better chance of one being a winner. So it's literally set and forget. You would click on select there. I like starting at ASAP, which is usually like the next day and then going to continue. And the last step is simply just getting another thumbnail that's going to be slightly different in any way. It's really going to be up to you. You can just really do something contrasting, different colors, different text, different picture, different facial expression. It's up to you. But when you optimize these thumbnails over time, these are a great way to get some quick wins in there especially when you do a lot of them and especially when your video is getting a lot of views it's going to be much quicker for you to analyze and see what is doing better last but not least i'm going to quickly go over the youtube and last but not least, I'm going to quickly go over the TubeBuddy Click Magnet. This has many features that allow you to accomplish a bunch of things, which overall usually revolve around getting more views. So if you want people to watch more of your videos, you can create content that they crave. This shows you just pretty much what's doing the best and saying do more of that. There's the Element Inspector. Ironically enough, I don't change around my thumbnails too much in terms of facial expressions, but I'll show you exactly what they mean here. You can actually compare thumbnails when it comes to face versus no face. I like using my face. Maybe I'm biased but you know once again <laughs> it talks about emotions all of them are happy uh, you could obviously change that around to see which ones do better in terms of calm surprised or sad of course it even talks about sizes as well you can see like a long shot a medium shot a close-up then it also talks about text versus no text or words and titles so this is a good way to get some data based upon what you've done you know maybe if you have a youtube channel that's a little bit more different in terms of thumbnails where they're always super different that's really going to help you out i like keeping things simple so that's just me right there and of course, it's going to be CTR opportunities. Get the most bang for your buck when focusing on improving these videos. So this is a great way to go here and say pretty much these are performing very well, but the click-through rate is no bueno. So if you look at these, these just need some better click-through rates. And what you can do is go and utilize these videos, which I'm going to do soon, and throw them into the A-B split testing where I can go in and say which one's going to get the higher click-through rate. Because given the fact a lot of people are watching a lot of this, this is really good. So not only are they watching the video, we just need to get more people to it so that more people can watch more of it, if that makes sense. So so there's a lot of great ways in terms of utilizing TubeBuddy when it comes to getting quick wins and maximizing your views. And would you look at that? I spelled examples wrong. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and fix that. But that's that's pretty funny. I, I don't always do that. Or I guess spell check or Grammarly missed that. Anyway, so let's now talk about the TubeBuddy pros and cons. I'm going to keep it on this page just so you can see what the pricing is when it comes to the one month. There's going to be a one year discount if you want to go with that route. But overall, Allow me to kind of brain dump and just give you my thoughts on pros and cons. 
First and foremost, we have the TubeBuddy Pros. So it has freemium access, which is very good. Keep in mind, you're not going to get all of the features. I will scroll down. You can see this is the free section. So some of them are going to be limited. And of course, some of them you get the full features. Obviously, you're not going to get all of them. That's the idea with freemium, which is always good. As someone who gets to look over and demo software, I like this. This allows you to at least see what they have to offer, test it out. Like you don't even need a card. So that's always a good thing. What else we have for pros? Let me OCD this so it looks nice. Perfect. Okay, there we go. Uh, there's so many features as you saw down there. I only showed you maybe what, like five or six or so on and so forth, but there's many more where that came from. These are just some of my favorite ones that I happen to like. So if you're looking for a lot of features, you can definitely find that here. It's a great price. I mean, especially when you're getting started, Pro is only $6 a month. And it says if you have less than a thousand subscribers, you can use this Rising Star Buddy coupon to get 50% off. So you're going to have $3 a month if you have less than 1K subs, which is always cool. So uh, there is the option for that discount. This is certainly will help you get more views. It'll help you with more video ideas, and it can definitely help you with ranking if you use it, of course. I've just shown you multiple ways that you can do that. And overall, it's pretty straightforward. The one thing you might get lost with, and this kind of goes over to the two buddy cons now, is that there's so many features, you might have trouble like finding where they are or like figuring out how to get to them. I even had that aspect. I was like, where's the SEO studio again? Oh, wait, there's two ways to get to it. I had to like look it up. And then of course, after that, you do well. And then of course, I do have my tutorial videos if you need help with that. Uh, one thing is just a little bit of a nitpick. And it's for me is that the AB testing is in the legend. I would love if it was in the pro one. But like I said, you know, it can't always be that way. In my opinion, that's my favorite feature. I think you can really maximize the amount of views you get, especially if you get a thumbnail, especially for the type of creator who wants more of like that clickable thumbnail, you know, like a, not clickbait, but one that's gonna, you're gonna put a lot more time and effort into it. So something like that, I think you'll get a lot out of, but it's unfortunate. It's just in the legend, but that's the way it is. Uh, and also aside from that, I'm going to say it's not for every YouTuber out there. There, which is, you know, you can say that about anything. It's like if you have a weightlifting program, it's not going to be for every weightlifter out there. But the two things that I think that come down to TubeBuddy are going to be the basics and ballparks. Now, in my experience from a lot of marketing and YouTubing, I think it's been around 10 years now. I love basics. I love ballparks. I love fundamentals. I know from a marketing perspective that not a lot of people do like those things. They're not as sexy. They don't sell well. So that's why I put that as a cons because I know a lot of people aren't going to like that as much. But if you want to get more rankings, if you want to get more views, you got to do the fundamentals. And TubeBuddy does a great job at showcasing that, especially like I showed you with the description, with the title, with the tags, getting your green score up and going from there. So so is TubeBuddy going to be worth it? I think it's going to be perfect for specific YouTube creators. So starting with the beginning. So if you're newer to YouTube, especially say if you have under a thousand subscribers, or maybe you don't understand like YouTube ranking and how it works well, TubeBuddy is going to be phenomenal for you. Like a lot of the things I can personally do in my sleep, just because I've been around for so long, but I understand that not everyone is going to be in that position, especially when it comes to ranking, description and stuff. If you're in that uh, specific position, I think it's going to be great for you. If you're a veteran, a grizzled veteran who has tons of views, I think this is going to be great for you as well, specifically for the fact that you can get so many quick wins, especially when you already have a lot of traffic or views coming in. I mean, think about it. If you have a video that's getting thousands upon thousands of views per day, you throw that into an A-B split test, you find a winner that improves your click-through rate, and just like that, you might be getting thousands more just from that one chance, okay? Uh, another thing, if you were looking for A-B testing, I think this is going to be for you. That was the biggest feature that attracted me to TubeBuddy. So that's why I got Legend and tested it out. So those are going to be some of the big reasons why you might want to use TubeBuddy. So I do think it is worth using. You just got to make sure that you can find the features that you specifically want to use. Like I said, there are so many of them. You know, I, I can't cover all of them unless the video was about 27 hours, but I will quickly scroll through and there are a lot of cool things in here. For example, like bulk find, replace, and append. You can look for specific aspects and things and kind of just replace them all at once can save you so much time. Same thing when it comes to like editing descriptions, you can bulk edit that so you don't have to go into like for me it would be like over 700 videos and edit it one by one. They do have a rank tracker. There are opportunity finders, which is nice. Milestones, best time to publish. I talked about pick a winner. Say if you do like someone comment, you can pick a, a winner at random if they win something and, and just so many more things going on. So if you're like a numbers or a data person, I think you're also going to really like TubeBuddy. And but anyway, that's going to conclude my TubeBuddy review. I do think that it is worth using, especially if you utilize a lot of these features. You can get a lot of quick wins out of it and, of course, increase your views and expand upon your knowledge when it comes to ranking in YouTube and so much more, which we talked about with the features. If you have 
have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm sure I might have missed out on something. There, Like I said, there's just so many features. I can't talk about all of them in one video. Uh, once again, if you want to test out TubeBuddy, the cool thing is they do have that freemium model. I will leave my link down below in case you want to test that out for free. Then, of course, if you wanted to upgrade, you can always do that. Thank you so much for watching my review. My name is James, and I'll see you in my next video.